gamers all around the flat universe. Today, we have another tier list. It's been a month and it's time for me to update you guys on some things. But first, disclaimer. This tier list is for top level competitive gameplay in my opinion. This sim tier list is not for Gold League. The Gold League tier list is everything that you play, D tier. Everything your opponent plays, S tier. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the high level tier list. Okay. The worst sim in my opinion, and I've talked about this last time, it stems from just being a slow sim, taking a long time to kick in, is going to be Abbasid. I just... I've been playing Abbasid, you know, I've been recording these videos where I give my opinion on the civilization and, and, and all that, all the good stuff. And Abbasid, throughout, throughout years that we've had, is just getting buffed to be more economic, to be more economic, more economic Civ, more, you're supposed to always play 2TC. And the problem with that is, with the recent, or, you know, TC nerf that happened two, three months ago, it affected Abbasid probably the most, because with Abbasid you were making TCs, like, at food sources out on the map, and basically using them as, like, mini keeps. And it's just... It's just a too slow of a sieve, and um, that's it. And some of the games I've had with Abbasid recently, even when I reached like Castle or Imperial, I actually didn't feel that strong, you know? Like even after booming, uh, you know, before I feel like once you get to Castle with Abbasid, you're kind of just cruising, but it didn't feel that like, ooh, okay, but this is my, you know, my, my advantage and I push here. And Imperial Abbasid, for some reason, I was really struggling against some of the civs. So, I'm gonna ho go and say D fucking tier. The next sim we'll be talking about is, no surprise, Jushi's Legacy. Still S tier. I mean, it hasn't been nerfed. I'm assuming there's gonna be a patch at the end of this month. At the end of the month of January or early month of February. It's just broken. I mean, I don't... And there's so many things that's OP about it, I don't even know where to start. I think in lower leagues, it's not... Like, obviously people have been complaining about it, but people complain about every sim. I don't think it's as strong in lower leagues, because Jushi is very similar to China, where it's like... The, the better the player is, the more they will be able to get out of Jushi's legacy and, and the economy and the farm transition and everything else. So, like, if we had a tournament right now, Jushi Legacy would be permabanned in a tournament. Uh, that's that's the level we're at the next sieve we'll be talking about is going to be Rus Rus is still good uh, Nothing has changed. It's a very strong sieve Kremlin is really strong and that's kind of what makes Rus Rus Having the Kremlin some of the players I've seen in the dev discord have suggested that Kremlin gets nerfed and Maybe it does need a nerf, but it kind of leaves me wondering if you know how good of a sieve would Rus be with a Kremlin uh, nerf like maybe reducing the Kremlin range or something like that or I don't know But as of right now, it's very hard to pressure Rus. It's very hard to attack them They can all in you they can rush castle all around great sieve good on water thumbs up and uh, If I think that if Jushi's legacy were to receive nerfs and let's say nothing else gets changed I would say probably a Rus uh, would get uh, uh, vetoed in tournaments, Mongol for hybrid maps, and then Ottoman, which brings me to the next civilization, which is Ottoman. I generally think that Ottoman is just really, really strong. Ottoman used to be like a feudal civ that used to be, um, you know, very strong and feudal, but then when you get to castle, it's like, eh, you know, kind of falls off, and then a P Imperial kick W, but... A few months ago, they buffed the Great Bombards, and I think that Ottoman is actually a really, really hard and Sipahis. Ottoman, I think, are really, really hard to deal with in Imperial, and consider, like, how hard they are to deal with in Imperial, I would compare them to Jushi's Legacy in China. It's, it's just very, very strong, and uh, Great Bombards have so much health. Uh, they have so much damage. Uh, the Janissaries are... They have insane DPS, even against men at arms, they're really good. And then you have Sipahis that you don't even need Springles as Ottoman against enemy siege. You just make Sipahis and you just right click them on their siege because they have extra range. So, 
yeah, I, I think Ottoman is really, really strong. And if Jushi Legacy was nerfed, the Ottoman Rus would probably be S tier civs. The next civ we'll be talking about is going to be. We'll have a new entry here. Byzantines, we're gonna put it B tier. I don't think Byzantines is, is A tier, but again, I'm suspecting Byzantines will get buffs, and once it get gets buffs, Byzantines will become A tier immediately. Why? People have been so people haven't played Byzantines too much in the last tournament because you know it's hard to play, there's a lot to explore, there's a lot to figure out, so people didn't invest time. Well, now that the tournament was, you know, since the tournament ended, people have been investing a lot of uh, their time into figuring out a sieve, figuring out different builds, different timings, and it's been getting scary uh, playing against Byzantines on the ladder. I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes, some games feel very easy, and then some games I feel like I don't know what I could have done to win that, and if Byzantines enters into castle, without taking, I've said this like since the game uh, uh, released uh, the new civs, if Byzantine gets to Imperial, the Varangian guards are OP. I still think that two, three months later, however long it's been, if Byzantines get to castle without taking damage, it's a really good civ, really strong. Limit and A are absolutely broken and they absolutely need a nerf. I'm assuming that Byzantines will get economy buffs and they need to get nerfed on limit and A, in my opinion. That that unit is just absolutely insane. They take 50% reduced damage from archers. Like that, that's just crazy from range attacks. So right now, the problem why Byzantines was weak before is people didn't know how to go from feudal to castle to imperial safely, and they were just kind of dying in feudal or entering in castle inefficiently. Now people have figured out better builds, understand the sieve better. So now you can't really kill Byzantines in feudal anymore. They people go Donzo, some archers, and then javelin throwers. Oh, sorry, not Donzo, limit an A. If you go cavalry, they have limit an A. If they go um, archers, you have javelin throwers. There's like no unit comp that, that beats uh, Byzantine in feudal. Although men at arm in feudal age from like English or men at arm from like HRE or OTD can be very good uh especially if the opponent chooses like javelin throw or something like that i think byzantines is going to be a top tier sieve probably even in the next patch as of right now i'm going to put it in b tier but it's getting better and better and i am very worried and i said this in the last uh tier list i am very worried that this sieve is about to get completely out of hand if it gets big buffs and the units that i was talking about do not get nerfed the next civ we'll be talking about is going to be... We're gonna go with Jean d'Arc. I, I think still A tier. Like, I think it's a good civ. Uh, it doesn't have any hard counters, except, I would say, Malian, maybe? And Ayubids. Like, I, I wouldn't say it's like, oh my god, I'm playing against this civ, I guess I lost. I think Malian and Ayubid is pretty, pretty strong, but... Other than that, I, you know, it just feels like a cozy civ. Oh yeah, Ottoman too, true, true, true. Ottoman too, and Rus is good against it. But overall, I think it's still a good Civ. Um, it has some weaknesses and people have learned kind of kind of how to play against JD, but people are still finding success with. Uh, the next Civ that I'll be talking about is going to be French. I actually think French is better than Abbasid. I know that French has an even lower play rate than Abbasid, especially in tournaments, but I've played French and I've played Abbasid recently with French. Like, you have faster villager production, you can put pressure on your opponents, your late game's really good with the Arbalest upgrades, and I do feel like it's a better sieve because it's not a great sieve in the current state, but you can put a lot of pressure on your opponents. And the problem with French is it has too many hard counters or just bad matchups in general. Um, the next one we'll be talking about is Delhi. Still very good sieve in the current meta at the top level. Aggression is everything. And Delhi does that very, very good. It has some matchups that are pretty rough, like China and Jushi's Legacy and Jean d'Arc. But other than that, I think it deals pretty okay slash well against most civs. It also craps on Malians pretty hard. Uh, beats Ayubid Castle Rush, so that's also nice. But yeah, Delhi's just Delhi. I mean, it's been like that for forever now. I feel like it's just a solid pick. Um, and obviously, very good on land maps. 
the next sip is going to be mongo and i'm going to put mongo into a tier as well i know there's a lot of sieves in a tier but that's how i feel about them uh mongo is not like if if i rated mongol on land maps i'd probably put it in b tier but mongol is usually played at the high level on hybrid maps or you know like golden heights or canal and mongol there is really it's like s tier on those maps and mongol actually was the sieve that was banned the most in the previous tournament even though you don't see it that often right on ladder at the top level or whatever but it's specifically used for water maps so it's a very good sieve it's okay on land maps it's very rng uh sometimes depending where your market is sometimes the neutral market spawns really good for you sometimes really shit and instead of returning like 60 gold per trip you return 32 which is a massive difference and that's just based on the spawn so that's the why i like i personally don't like playing mongol on, on land maps because it's too random what kind of market you're gonna get next sieve we'll be talking about is going to be is going to be malian now I, I've been changing my mind about Malian a little bit. Now, I, I know this, like, I think if other players saw this, they'd be like, yo, Malian beat here. Malian had a really bad win rate in the last tournament. I think it was the lowest win rate Civ that was actually played, played. Uh, I think they ended up with like 44% win rate. Malian has some good matchups, but I don't think it's as good as it used to be. And it has nothing maybe to do with buffs or nerfs i think people just figured out how to play against malian i don't think it's a bad sieve but i just don't think like that whole cow boom into mass sofa it's not really that scary anymore like people figured it out how to play against it it's still a good sieve but i wouldn't put it in like the top top tier in my opinion like delhi does really good against it jean d'arc does really good against it ruse does really good ottoman does really good against it at the same time, the only sieve that I would say it counters pretty bad are maybe like OTD and French, which are not very played. Malin counters JD pretty hard. Um, I actually think Malin is decent against JD. This is a thing that I've seen other top pro players say that they think that JD counters Malin, but I think that Malin is, is good against JD. So I don't know. I guess we'll see in the next tournament who was right and who was wrong. Uh, okay, HRE. If I put Malin B tier, I'm gonna have to put HRE here. Same problem as always uh, in the current meta. It, it's a bit hard to pull HRE off. Uh, I've been trying some HRE feudal, which Twitch chat. I want you guys to remind me to try more HRE and just fight in feudal. See how it works. I have some ideas how to manage the economy early on to potentially have a chance. Um, but yeah, I mean, it, it, HRE, Abbasid, and French have one thing in common and i would probably say they just feel outdated they're not bad sieves they, they just feel outdated it, it's like everyone got you know the new toys everyone got the new upgrades and they've just been the same for a very long time and i think that's the main issue you know ruse got kremlin right ottoman uh, has received multiple buffs they got great bombards buffed um, Delhi has gotten Ghazi Raiders, Ottoman got Sipahi, and then you have HRE, Abbasid, and French that it's just kind of... I'm sure they have received like some stuff changed since the release, right? But it doesn't feel like their style has changed much, and maybe that is the problem. So yeah, I just think they feel outdated. Uh, the next sieve we'll be talking about is going to be... Um, I'm gonna go with Japanese, I'm gonna put Japanese in, a, in B tier. It, it might be kind of peaking into A tier almost, but it depends what map you're on. Again, Japanese, similar to Mongol, very strong on hybrid maps, very, very strong. It's a uh, sieve that received second most bans in the last tournament. Uh, very good on hybrid maps, their fishing ships are cheaper. Shinobis are really good on water maps because they can disable the docks so that they can produce. Uh, but I would say on water, they're probably like A or S tier but i used to i think rate them lower but recently people have been playing castle rush with japanese which i'm going to make a guide for into mounted samurai and then into samurais or archers and it's been working quite well so i think the japanese as a sieve is on the up right now similar to similar to byzantines it's kind of kind of going you know towards the top right now it's um I don't see it going getting worse. I see it getting a little bit better as people figure it out because it is a unique sieve similar to Byzantines. 
maybe that is complicated but very unique so i'm gonna go ahead and put it right there similar to japanese i'm gonna just slap ayubin in there they have a very 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 similar play style right now both of those sieves like the styles are almost identical it's just how you get there is a bit different and obviously the economy part how the sieves work is a bit different and you know every bits have camels but the styles are almost identical in those two uh, those two sieves the way they're played so yeah it's it's a good sieve you know it can be played in hybrid maps it's not the best um Iobit is still very much for me a question mark and i do think that is still probably unexplored um sieve and there's a lot that will get figured out or change in the future because there's so many like intricate things about Iobit. Um, the next sieve I'll be talking about is going to be... Oh, where do I put China? It's not D tier, it's not S tier, it's not A tier. It's either a B or a C tier. Um, I'm going to put China in B tier. Um, I, I think that Zuganu are very strong. And I don't think they're going to get nerfed now, but I... I wouldn't be surprised if they received Zuginu received nerf nerf in the future at some point because they're feudal archers basically that do three damage per shot no matter what the armor is and that's kind of a little bit strong but they do have a lot of weaker feudal compared to Jushi's legacy and just weaker gameplay in general so that's why I'm putting them into B tier. Uh, next sim I'll be talking about is going to be English I think yeah I've, I've talked about this before but I, I think English just doesn't have any major strengths I don't think it has any major weaknesses it can be played on hybrid maps but it's not you know I don't look at English and I'm like oh I, I gotta lock English in but English does have some really good matchups and you can snipe some sieves with English so for example English is very good into Ottoman English in my opinion is pretty good against JD English is pretty good against Jushi's Legacy, funnily enough. Probably the best counter in the game to Jushi's Legacy is English. English is, uh, I think, decent against China early on. Um, so I think that because of all those things... Now, I'm going to add a tier, actually. Add a row below. Uh, C+, plus. how about that? B minus C+, plus. okay, how about that? And then we're going to put English and OOT d right there because it doesn't feel right putting english and otd in b tier but i also don't think they're c tier otd actually i think it's better than english better than uh, hre um i've been playing otd quite a bit one of my favorite sims to play i like the idea behind it again i think there are some issues with the economy with otd they need a little bit of help early on once that is done i can see otd go a little bit higher up I am not sure I'm not sure what the idea for OTD is uh, and what I mean by that is HRE is usually a castle rush sit right they, they kind of rely on chapel for a lot of economy yada yada that's kind of their thing rushing Imperial for OTD I've tried a lot of styles I've tried 2TC I've tried 1TC fighting I've tried castle rushing I have tried Imperial rushing it feels like everything is okay but nothing really strikes me as like oh yeah this is the way to go you know i feel like it's very matchup dependent and and sometimes castle rush is a really good idea sometimes it will kill you so i don't know i i would like to see something for otd buffed i i generally don't know what I, the funny thing is i think i don't even like the idea of buffing chapel I mean, sure, they can buff it, but I actually think mine work upgrades are really strong. Like the man at arm upgrade that gives you 30% or reduced damage once you reach 30% health, I think is really strong. So it's like, I want to go mine work, but it does lack some eco. And again, I'm not sure where they could buff that. Maybe they should buff the villager gather rate by another 5% or maybe the dragon villagers, or maybe instead of producing a villager every 20, what is it, four seconds, maybe produce a villager every 22 seconds, like just a little something, right? Uh, I would like to see for OTD, but that is gonna be my final list, uh, final list, not final list. Um, I think that's where I'm kind of at. I do think that Byzantine and Japanese might be going higher 
in time. I, I, I Ubit is a question mark to me completely. I have no fucking idea what happens there. Uh, OTD might go up, and I think Jushi Legacy. It would be insane if they don't get nerfed. Like that, to me, that would be absolutely crazy and insane. So they're probably gonna go down, and then we're gonna have some new S tier sieves, I think. Um, once the patch hits, and we haven't pa had a patch for a while, so I'm assuming it's gonna be a bigger one. So, yeah, that is it. YouTube gamers, if you're watching this on YouTube, thanks for watching. Check out on Twitch, I'm probably live right now. Twitch gamers, let's keep going.